If someone said to me, um, would I, if I could go back to eating how I used to, but still be, um, you know, feeling how I am now, absolutely not. Yeah. I mean, I love the, the foods I'm eating, um, everything it's taught me, it's just, it's just it empowers me to just become this better person. I cannot tell, I was in the darkest place, depressed, crying, um, just really, really lost at, you know, at 28, 20, you know, 27, 26. And this has not only in my health um, physically, but mentally, it's just a complete overhaul of who you are. It's like the best, I know it's cliche to say, but it's like the best version of yourself you can ever become. But it all starts with how badly do you want it? How badly do you want to feel better? And actually when you see that, you know, it took me th two, three days to see any results. And that feeling, you know, going to the toilet normally is worth more than anything in the world. How many possibly. years? How, long, um, how many months or years were you dealing with the 10 bloody bowel movements a day, all mucus, all blood, pain, cramping, bloating? Three or four years. Three or four years this was going on? On, on and off, yeah. So I would have bouts of, um, you know, periods of good health and periods, you know, as it was in more remission, um, and then periods of just up and down, no, um, consistency whatsoever. In December last year, uh, 2019, I um, I had an accident where I was just in the car and and I I, I thought it was just going to be some wind and I, I passed you know passed a lot of mucus. Yeah. I sat there and cried mm -hmm. because I was just like, I don't know. You know, I've had specialists. I've had people telling me this is what I'm going to have for the rest of my life. This is. Yeah. This happened to me too, by the way. This happened. Yeah. Too. So you know i just felt so demoralized and i felt um i can't describe the feeling obviously you'll be aware and people listening to this will be as well if they've had this but yeah, um, they know. They know. It, it, it was like a, a change had to happen so literally every symptom has has gone how long did it take you to get those results um so i started so i've uh, started for well i've been on it for about four months now three four months um, I saw relief, so I was in my worst, um, I want to say quote unquote flare, but I was in my worst time when I started. Um, it took me three days, um, if not two days, to um, get down to maybe one or two bowel movements. Not everyone has a body that can heal like yours did. When you got your body, it, it was ex we hit the nail on the head. Every program is different, every answer is different, everyone responds differently. Your yep. body loved it and it was perfect for what it needed and it ignited yep. what was possible in your life and a lot of you out there, the same thing is possible. Everything you were saying resonated with me and I thought, you know, I've, I've been told once by someone that you do, do not live on regret. So I just say, I've watched many of your testimonial videos, right? <laughs> and I've, I've, I've said to myself, I am going to be this guy who sits, <laughs> who sits in front of you and says all these things, right? So. My I, I uh, have one bowel movement or two a day. Okay. Um, so that's gone from 10 to 14 bloody, pure blood, you know, movements to one normal whole stool. Okay. Two, um, Huge. Which is, which is, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Um, <laughs> I had the worst bloating I've ever experienced through um, steroids. Yeah. To the point where I was, I was huge. I looked like 12 months pregnant. Yeah. That was round the clock, so that was from literally six in the morning. I was massive. Yeah. Um, cystic acne, which stayed with me for five years. Yeah. Um, energy to the point where, I, like, as in no energy, I couldn't walk up the stairs. Yeah. And I was trying to hold down a full-time job with this. So yeah. now, one or two bowel movements a day. Yeah. Um, sometimes I still have a bit of mucus, um, but I'm working obviously through the plan, and we've spoke about this in detail, and I've got the tools to um, to minimise that, which I've seen great progress with. Yeah, life is like a refinement, yeah. Yeah, I've got my energies through the roof. I wake up at seven or, I'm not working at the moment, but I wake up at seven or eight. Um, I mean, I I am active, I go out, I ride my bike, I do yoga every day. I couldn't even like get up the stairs. Yeah. So energy is through the roof, like to the point where I never thought it would return again. I, I just couldn't see it. Mm -hmm. um, zero bloating. Yeah. I've got a flat stomach and I, you know, I couldn't see my feet. <laughs> I can see my feet. Um, which is crazy. Um, my acne, like this is, and it, it sounds weird, but everyone has their own sort of like the most they, they like 
the hierarchy like what's most important for them. Yeah. Acne for me, because obviously being 28, um, it was all over my back and all over my chest. Um, it was the biggest problem for me. I re aside from the, the physical condition and what it was doing to me, this really was an issue to me. I tried everything. Yeah. Um, it's gone. I just need I just need a bit of a scar, you know, a bit of scar. I need a bit of treatment for that. I, I've never. I look at my back and I'm just like, how? <laughs> Flares or, or uh, trips in the road do not phase me. Yeah. Because I know I have the tools and yes. I have. I have the, the mental strength and resilience, but I also have the tools because I know exactly what to do when this happens. Whereas without know. this course, without this course, you don't have those tools. You're left scratching your head, yep. searching on the internet, speaking to your GP. Relying on doctors, relying on this. antibiotics, relying on steroids, no personal empowerment. And you Completely did all this from your home, right? All from my home, so. You, you were able to get that. massive symptom relief and massive results from home. From home. Literally, from and now when you go out into the world, you have something to do about it. I was like, no way. You know, the doctors no told me that yeah. this would never happen. The yeah. doctors told me that I would be on, you know, loads of medication and I would never find, you know, um, good, consistent relief. Yeah. Um, I, I feel empowered um, when I'm out with my friends. I feel, you know what? I'm eating healthy. I'm, you know, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do for the best version of me. What gives you confidence that you're going to be okay moving forward? I think um, there's so many things that give me confidence. I think um, the the information um, and the knowledge that I've gained through the course fundamentally has yeah. helped with that. Um, yeah. You know, being able, it, it's just like, it's like a comfort blanket. It's, you can log on, you can you can revisit modules, you can look up videos, you can, you know, read the blogs with so much really important detail. You could reach out and have a conversation with one of our practitioners. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I probably annoy Dane because I email him all the time. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a lot of things. It's the information that the course provides, but also it's the belief and the, um, just the empowerment from the community, especially Dane and and, um, and his colleagues and the people who work for um, Crohn's Colitis Lifestyle. It's, um, you know, there's always uh, someone there to, to guide you and assist you. Like I said, I'm in the UK. Um, I can email Dane or a member of his team and someone gets back to me right away and it's just that reassurance. But I think fundamentally it's, it's listening to other people's journeys, especially Dane's and the people that have been enrolled in the course and um, understanding, you know, through the course and understanding, okay, so if I do have, um, you know, re uh, an intolerance or a reaction to something I've just eaten, it's, you know exactly what to do. So and so what would you say to anyone out there who, who is hearing this and wondering and still on that edge, they've been considering SHIELD for a number of times, they're not really sure, they kind of hanging on a thread, what would you say to anyone out there who's, who's out there? Who's I, would, I would say, um, there's probably going to be people like me um, who it's just too good to be true. It's something that um, it's just, you know, you might not buy into it, you might not believe it. But I can safely say um, it has been the most life changing thing I have ever done. And I applaud anyone to look into it, even just the, the valuable content that Dane has on Instagram. Um, even the Crohn's Colitis Lifestyle, Instagram, you will see how much value, and that is just not even a percent of what is on the course. Um, I would definitely recommend reaching out to the team like I did. I had a great free call with um, one of the coaches um, first time around before I made a decision and then second time around. Um, and you, it's like trust your gut. You, you know what you're, what you're hearing. You know that you're hearing from people with real experiences, Dane's gone through it himself. Everyone on the team um, has had IBD of some description. So yes. it's not people that are trying to profit out of something that they found to help people with this condition. It's people that have lived through it and they understand every part of the journey and how hard it can be. And they're yeah. there to provide information to give you the empowerment to go on and change your life. So it has been the best thing I have ever done in my life. And for people who are uncertain, reach out, speak to me, speak to anyone in the community and just air your thoughts because it has changed my life and I would do it 10 times over.